Now we'll pass on to the next chapter that is our environment of standard 10 lesson 15. First we will discuss about environment. The word environment is familiar for all. We live in this environment. In this chapter we will discuss about the different components which is present and the Im our, how we impact on environment. Now we know that many living organisms are living in this environment. And the non-living factors are also interacting with this living organism. So this living organism and non-living organism together which is called an ecosystem. Now the components of ecosystem which is classified into two that is biotic and abiotic components. Now what does mean by biotic components? Biotic components means all the living organism which is living in this environment which is called biotic component and non-living organism which is called that is abiotic for example temperature, light, humidity all these things come down. all the physical factors which is necessary for living organism to survive in this environment which is called abiotic factors. So biotic factors and abiotic factors together we call is ecosystem. Now ecosystem is classified into two that is terrestrial and aquatic. Now what does mean by terrestrial? Terrestrial means on land and aquatic that is water. Now first we will discuss about this terrestrial ecosystem that is garden, desert, forest. Now here in this terrestrial and aquatic itself natural and artificial is there. Garden is an artificial that is ecosystem, desert, forest and even grassland that comes in the natural ecosystem. Now first we will discuss about the terrestrial ecosystem. Now ecosystem itself, it consists of, first suppose if you take garden, you can see many plants are growing. So plants to grow, they need sunlight, water etc. So physical conditions are necessary for the plants to grow and plants are called producers. Now why they are called producers? Producers means they can prepare their own food with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll which is called photosynthesis. We have already discussed about that. Now these plants are called producers. Now there are some insects which feed on plants. They are called the consumers. Then these insects are also taken by that fed by another some organism like frogs and all. They are another consumers. That is it goes primary, secondary, tertiary consumers. And it goes on like that afterwards when all these organisms when they die they are decomposed by a microorganism bacteria. They are called decomposers. So you can see in the garden, desert and forest this interrelation between living organism and non-living organism. The similar manner aquatic that means water. If you take pond, river, sea these are natural ecosystem. Here in this case artificially aquarium that is artificial ecosystem. We will discuss one example that is about pond. Pond also you can see some many that is water plants are growing on the surface of water in the pond itself. So that is called the producers. Some small insects or some other small fishes which feed on this plant they are consumers and they are taken by frogs that is called the secondary consumers and the snakes um, will feed on frog that comes in the tertiary consumer and then snake was taken by kite or something else from the garden also and even uh, like that and it is a quaternary consumer that we will discuss later. So all these organisms when they die they get decomposed and they were decomposed by the bacteria they are called decomposers. decomposers. So these are the different types of ecosystem that is terrestrial and aquatic. It is on land, it is water. It is also artificial and natural are there. Garden comes in the artificial desert forest is the natural one and aquatic also pond, river, sea these are all natural. Aquarium is another artificial ecosystem.